When I first met Jacob, I, he was beginning his love for the elderly program and he told me about it. We met and we talked and he told me about the program and I, I was just so impressed. He is so inspiring to others who hear him talk and, you know, listen to his message about helping the elderly. I started my nonprofit back in December of 2013 in honor of my grandpa who passed away um, when I was 10 years old. I created an organization called Love for the Elderly. It basically just started by me sitting down in my living room, writing some handwritten like cards and then sending them out to a nursing home in California because I had like really big goals for whatever I was doing. And then I actually got a really great response. And I decided that I would create social media and a website and uh, it really took off from there. So it started out as just me in my living room and then uh, not necessarily overnight but I'd say like through a lot of hard work and also some luck with getting featured in certain like media outlets uh, I managed to turn it into a global nonprofit and we currently work with 68 countries and just our letters of love program alone has benefited 50,000 seniors which is incredible to me like I still can't believe it I actually got to visit that senior center that I first sent uh, letters to and I was just greeted with like love and open arms. They were like, Jacob's here. They all knew my name. They all like knew who I was, the letter boy. And, and it was so cool. All of us grew up experiencing, you know, making the right decisions and being ethical. And I think Jacob talked about being a role model. And that's an important thing for everyone in the school to see that there are role models that uphold what is the right thing to do and who make a positive influence in our school. I think that to me ethics just means that you're constantly thinking morally and making sure that all of your decisions are in the best interest of not only yourself but like those around you and the world. Uh, and, that, and that can be really hard. I guess just generally like in my day-to-day -day interactions in school, I just try to like be friends with everybody and um, maybe act as a mentor or role model for underclassmen. I would definitely say that I, I, try, I try to just have a smile on my face and walk around the orange high school halls with a smile to hopefully like brighten other people's days too. Uh, so it doesn't have to be something big like a nonprofit. Literally just like if you're a kind person and smile and stuff, like I think that's like, the best thing that you can be.